Hey nerdy knitters, if you've been knitting a while, gaining some confidence, but you're ready to up your knitting game, I have some book recommendations for you today. These books will help you tackle new techniques, learn new skills, maybe learn some new project ideas, or even design some of your own things. Be sure to stick around because I have a tip at the end to help you practice any of those newly acquired skills that you're working on. But before we jump into that, let me just say, hey, I'm Tanya here at Nerdy Knitting. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a knitwear designer, and my goal is to help you become a confident, adventurous knitter. First on the list is the Vogue Knitting Ultimate Reference Book, this one right here. If you watched my other video about best books for beginner knitters, you'll see that I mentioned this book on that list as well. But I'm sticking it here too because it covers all of those basic techniques that beginners need, but then it dives into some other topics. Brioche, cables, lace, elongated stitches, and lots more are all covered in this book. Now, it's more of a high level overview. The brioche section is just a few pages, as you can see right here but it's a great starting place for any of those new techniques. And there's also a great section on designing. If you want to maybe work on your own hat without a pattern, then there's a section all about designing hats, socks, shawls, garments, it's all in here. The next general all-purpose knitting book I'd recommend is this one, The Knitter's Handbook by Monsey Stanley. Now it's sort of a dated book and it's out of print, but you can find copies all over the place. If you check out this video here, I talk about some places to find vintage patterns, but also used books. And there's a list of recommended places you can find this book. Now, if you're not such a visual person, like I prefer Vogue Knitting because it has lots of pictures that I can follow along with. This one has line drawings, but it's a lot of text. So if you like text-based technique books, then this book might be something to consider. Or if you're like me and a bit nerdy with your knitting, you might want to get both and keep them on your shelf. So you have two references to check. The next two books on my list are both by Margaret Radcliffe. And I mentioned her also in our best books for beginner knitters, her knitting answer book. This is a perfect book to toss right in your knitting bag when you need a quick reference. I really like it for that. But she also has some other books and two of them are on this list. Now my first Margaret Radcliffe recommendation is this book, The Circular Knitting Workshop. This one really dives deep into circular knitting, everything about it, all of the different cast-ons, closed cast-ons, all the different things you might wanna know about knitting different garments in the round, uh, sweaters, vests, mittens, socks, hats, bags, everything like that. Anything that can be knit from the center out or just in the round, she covers it in this book. And it's lots of full color photographs, lots of technical information, and lots of practice patterns as well. The section on socks is really good and it has some patterns that are practice socks. They're not like sizes you would wear, but they're just things to practice the different, the heel flap and gussets, the short row heels, all of those different techniques you might wanna practice on maybe larger needles and bigger yarn, she's got you covered. The next Margaret Radcliffe book on my list is this one, her Color Knitting Techniques book. This dives deep into the world of knitting with color. She's got some color theory in there and then some basic things, stripes and carrying colors, but then she dives into all of the different ways you can use color in knitting. Intarsia, stranded, slip stitch knitting, mosaic knitting, You'll even find sections on the other techniques that you might find with color knitting, helix knitting, shadow knitting, mosaic knitting, twined knitting, double knitting, and even modular knitting and entrelock. All of those use more than one color and she covers them all in this book. The last book on my list, I consider the textbook of knitting. The Principles of Knitting by June Hemmons Hyatt. This is not a small book. If you watched the best books for beginner knitters, you'll notice that I did not recommend this book for beginners, but I do recommend it for intermediate or advanced knitters or those who really want to improve their skills and dive deep into knitting. If you just want quick references and cover all of the basic techniques, the other books I mentioned will do that. But this is for those who really want to dive deep into their knitting. Her terminology is a little different, so you really have to pay attention while you're reading. And while there's pictures and line drawings, it's not really for visual learners. This is probably my last resource recommendation. I use it, but I use it when I've got some quiet and I can really focus on what I'm reading. But for those who really want to dive into their knitting, then this book is great for you. Now, what if there's a specific skill you want to cover and you find some general references in these books? For example, let's say you want to really dive into learning about brioche knitting, which is a super popular knitting method right now. 
and you find a few pages that cover that in, in Vogue Knitting. There's enough there to get you started and it covers the basics really well, but you really want to learn more. Then I recommend you find a book that's just about that subject. You can't go wrong with one of Nancy Marchant's book. This is her Knitting Fresh Brio. She, she covers all of the skills you want to know. She's got patterns in there so you can practice and a lot of stitch patterns as well if you want to design something on your own. Now, once you've checked your general reference book and then you found a another book that dives a little deeper. The third thing I would recommend if you're focusing on one topic is to find a pattern that you can practice with. Now, if you go to Ravelry, you can search through the patterns and you can sort them by techniques. So in our example here, we're going to click on brioche knitting. And then that brings up a lot of different patterns, but we can sort through these patterns just a little bit more to make it a little bit easier to find something that's suitable for somebody who's just practicing this new skill. If you scroll down and look for this box right here, you can sort patterns by difficulty. Now clicking this isn't always a perfect match, but it will narrow things down a little bit and help you find something that's suitable if it's a new skill that you're just working on. So grab some of these books to keep on your shelf so you'll have some knitting references that you can use whenever you have a question or you wanna practice a new technique technique. And when you're ready to dive into a technique, look for books that are focused specifically on that technique and a beginner level pattern that you can use to practice those skills. And if you're looking for more book recommendations, check out this list of beginner books right here, which covers some really good foundational reference books that even intermediate and advanced knitters might want to have on their shelves too. Like this video, share it with your knitting friends, and if you like to get nerdy with your knitting, be sure to subscribe.